In this lesson we're going to look at the position utility, a small component that is used internally by some of the widgets and which we can also make use of in our own code if we wish. It's used to align an element or widget to any other element or widget or relative to the page. It's very useful and incredibly easy to use. In the working files, open up the file called position.html. So we've got a couple of different things on the page here. We've got a target element, a position E element, and a grid of buttons inside a container with an ID of positioners. So first of all, if we wanted to center the target on the page, we could do that really easily by selecting the element to be positioned and then specifying some simple configuration options. So we'll select the target element first of all, and then position it. We can position it relative to the document using the of configuration option. And in this case, we just set the of option to the document. So let's view the page in a browser quickly. And we can see that the target element has been positioned in the center of the screen. This works with such minimal configuration because of the sensible defaults that the other configuration options take. To see these options in action, we can wire up the grid of buttons that is also on the page. First of all, we'll want to add a click handler for them. So to do that, we can select the container and add a click handler. We can add the handler using jQuery's on method, and the first parameter is the name of the event that we're listening for, which in this case is click. For the second parameter, we can add a selector that filters the elements that trigger the event, so that only specific elements can trigger the event. So in this case, we want to filter it down to a button. So this will be one of the buttons inside the container. And for the third argument, we can specify the callback function that should be invoked when the event is detected. So first of all, we want to get the button that was clicked. We'll store that in a variable. And we can get that easily using the this object, which is set to the button that was clicked. Next, we can create a simple object literal called positions. So the first configuration option that we want to set this time is the my option. The my configuration option refers to the sides of the element being positioned. Each of the buttons has a custom data attribute called my position, which contains a string specifying which edges of the element to use. For example, if the first button is clicked, the my option will be set to the value right bottom. The format of the value for this option should be a space separated string with the horizontal edge and optionally the vertical edge. If only one value is supplied, both edges will receive the value. Next, we can configure the at option. The at configuration option refers to the edges of the element that is being positioned against. It takes the same values as the my option. Again, we can just get the custom data attribute from the button and use jQuery's attr method to get that. Lastly, we want to configure the of option. This option refers to the element that is being positioned against. So we just select the target element. Lastly, we just need to select the element being positioned and call the position method on it, passing in the positions object that we just created. So let's go back to the browser now. and We should find that we can click any of the buttons and the green element will be positioned against the yellow element. In this lesson, we looked at the position utility and saw how we can use it to position any element relative to any other element.